Hi friends, welcome to Living Through Limits. Today I'm going to work on building a little outside uh, table so I have a place to set my wood while I'm building my fence. And all this is is I just uh, have a uh, 4x8 sheet of plywood that is for the roof of my chicken coop but temporarily I'm going to use it for this table I'm building so I had already cut two two by fours that I just had laying around uh, they're about 93 inches long and that way when I put the ends on them it'll be eight feet they'll come out four feet I'm just attaching it to my deck and that way we can set boards on there that need to be painted and stuff uh, that way I don't need to get on the ground or anything makes it really a lot easier the other thing I do is when I cut my wood I use my chop saw and I have a uh, uh, chop saw at different angles and everything um, it's a compound miter saw I guess you could call it instead of using like a hand uh, skill saw for this or circular saw um, it really saves on my back and, and grabbing that that saw so I have to carry the two by fours over to cut them but it saves on that I don't know that saw must weigh 20 pounds or 15 pounds something like that and it's that constant movement so we'll get to building this and uh, I probably won't talk much during the video but it'll it'll show what we're doing here so okay here we go Okay, so now what I'm doing is I have some more scrap wood and I'm going to go cut two four foot pieces because sheets of plywood are four by eight normally and uh, if I can go cut these together, this one may be four feet already. Yep, it's sitting right there at four feet and so this one I'll go cut off as long as there's not any nails or screws or anything hanging on the end and uh, don't want to ruin my saw blade and we'll go cut this off okay before I cut this off one thing I've learned with uh, hopefully with age comes wisdom is when I was younger I never used hearing protection never used safety glasses well now I'm deaf Still got my eyesight most of it and uh, but I now wear my hearing protection I also have uh, a shop vac that's hooked up to my my saw here and it collects the majority of the dust but not all of it but we'll measure this off to 48 inches Okay, so grab some screws, stick them in my pocket. These are three inch star bit screws. I found they don't slip too much. These are actually deck screws. Uh, they work really good. I don't have to put as much pressure on these screws. Uh, I can pull them in and out a few times. But what I'm gonna do is, I've got my, my cross piece that I just cut and uh, I'm going to set up a temporary leg so I can level it off, get it uh, screwed in against the deck, and then uh, do this side over here and uh, scribe these off and then uh, I can cut them in, uh, to length.
we have about 48 inches so instead of just wasting my wasting all my wood I can just take one of these little scraps stick it on here temporarily grab my other clamp looks pretty level doesn't have to be perfect like I said it's just going it's just out here outside our two by fours these outside two by fours actually go past like it does back here so we want to make sure we wouldn't put that this leg right here or we'd have to move it again so this is just temporarily to hold it uh, come back once the front's on that way we can screw it to the front and the back Our backboard was eight feet. So we look and see if we have a front board and see if we have one that's eight feet. We just hold it right up inside the, and we kind of turn that. One thing I wanted to show you too is with these nice little deck screws, they're kind of like self self drilling. They've got a little relief right here that allows you to drill and put the screw in at the same time. So it really cuts down on splitting your wood. And even though this is all junk wood, you still don't want it to split because you want it to have some structural integrity. You know, I don't know too if very many of you have used levels before, but when you're looking this way, this is level. But when you look for your up and down, you're looking at it's called plum. And my plum is off. And right there is plum. So, and we're still level. So because of strength, I will put a screw in here. And that'll hold that. Now, I have to cut one more 93 because I could span this with just the plywood, but my plywood's only 7 16 inch thick, so if I put another 2x4 down the middle, that'll help steady the, the workbench. So now, we're going to put on the center support, but because I really like to have things all even and stuff, what I'm going to do, I know I have 4 feet. So, I'm going to mark this at two feet, and that'll be basically where I put my board. Now, when you're working by yourself, it's kind of like, how do you hold one side and not the other? So what I do, is I just get a scrap piece of wood, a little two by four, it's got a little mud on it, who cares? So, you know where your two feet is. So what I can do, is I can put that right under there. Take my clamp, keep it kind of out of the way so I can clamp that on there. Measure over, measure two feet over there. We'll measure two feet here center now the other thing I like to do is 
check for a crown. Well, a crown is whether this portal, it humps up, that'd be crown up, or crown down, which would be, it would have a belly to it. So if I look at this, it kind of, yeah, it humps up that way. So now I can take and put my board in there, can center it here. Sometimes there's enough pressure that it'll stay couple of drill screws, deck screws. Hold on to my board. So with that, see the other side got to stay up. This side, everything's level. Move it over a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. And there you go, the frame for my table. So now I can move everything, get my block of wood out of the way. And now we'll go get the piece of plywood. And that'll be off camera because I need the cameraman. So, being that, you know, it's just an outside table, all I'm going to do is just take a couple of uh, screws, screw it down. I don't want it to get warped and stuff. And then when I'm not using it, I'm going to take a uh, tarp, cover it, because this, this wood is not really designed to be in the elements for very long. It's just, it's called OSB, but it's just kind of like pieces of wood glued and compressed and stuff together um, it's not the best for building countertops and stuff like that but for what we're doing it's perfect this table is plenty strong and I'll go I have to go get my screws and we'll get it put down As you remember we put a, a board out here in the middle so we'll just come over here get it screw ready we know it was at two feet we're just gonna drop with screw in here and that kind of holds it see and as you can tell, it holds my 200 pounds. I could probably sit on here, but then I'd have to get off of here. Okay, that's our little workbench table. And we'll keep moving on. <laughs> 